Some people say there's treasure that lays in the land of the Fae with the castles and caves where a bloody battle was fought and thousands call him in the ancient woodland of Roslyn Glen. Stay tuned to see more. Hello everybody. So, in case you hadn't noticed, we are in the mystical Roslyn Glen today. And we've got a lot of things to look for and to talk about. Um, firstly, I'm looking for some carvings. So we'll find the carvings and then we'll take a wee trip down history lane. Hey, oh, we're across the tree. Way! It's got to be done sometimes. It's got to be done. All right. So this is where the journey is taking us, guys. There's a small cliff ledge right next to the banks of the River S. And so, basically, way down from here. I've seen a lot of carvings and I'm looking for one particular that's um, of a fish. It's thousands of year old Neolithic carving. This way. Have a look. You really pay attention because these things are really difficult to spot. Some groove marks in here. There's this which I think is very modern. It looks done recently. So I can't give any credit to that. Maybe I'm the first man to find it. <laughs> but I mean, if you look at the landscape we're on here, one step wrong and I'm off the cliff. Who's really struggling to find this? This fish. I'm determined. I mean, for me, these grooves are very, very interesting as well. They can't be natural. So without finding it, there is one thing I can show you. This face here is thousands of years old. Some say it's of an ape. No records of apes in Scotland. Some say it's an alien. The green men who are supposedly all over the myths of Roslyn. Next, Roslyn Chapel. Let's go. On the edge of the glen lies Roslyn Chapel. One of the most mysterious places in Scotland. Riddled with legend of the Freemasons and the Knights Templar who apparently set the church up more than 500 years ago. Now, I can't really go in. It's closed today. You can see this beautiful image as I'm sat on the wall. <laughs> I'm sure I'd get in a bit of trouble if anyone would find out, but so it's got to be done. You wanted some footage. So yeah, there are many carvings in there that are unexplainable. Anyone who knows anything about the Freemasons, if you don't, I highly recommend look into it. But Roslyn Chapel is a whole video on its own, guys, so I hope you enjoy. Oh, it's done. All right, let's go back into the glen. Let's go look for some fun stuff. So, we're now going all the way to year 1303. 
where one of the most bloodiest battles in Scottish history took place in Roslyn Glen. And in this battle, the two legendary figures of William Wallace and Robert the Bruce. So right now, I am on my way to go and find the mysterious cave which William Wallace stayed in on the night of the battle. All right, I gotta climb this, give me luck. So the English had gathered 30,000 soldiers and they'd separated into three, three different armies, 10,000 each. Wallace and Bruce were only able to get 8,000 loyal men to fight for the Scottish crown. Now, the word had came out that they were, they had separated the army and that was Wallace and Bruce's time to attack. Now, I'm in a very, 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 very special place here today. And you're gonna see where William Wallace slept himself. Come with me. is the masterpiece that held William Wallace himself on the night of Roslyn Glen in 1303 along with 70 of his most faithful warriors. This is exciting. It's not just William Wallace that stayed here guys. This was carved thousands of years ago by the Neolithic Scottish men. Come and have a look. Welcome. The cave, guys, consists of four chambers. First one. The second one. The third chamber. If I stand at the back, you see the sheer scale, the size of this place. Now, I don't know if it's any interest to you, but this was dug thousands of years ago. Absolutely thousands, four four thousand years maybe. I'm not sure, exactly, I don't think anyone's sure. But it's got the name Wallace's Cave because this is the place that the protector of Scotland would have lay and slept and feasted and got ready for battle. For me this is of significant importance, not only just for knowing that Brother Wallace lay here, but to see the craftsmanship. Of my ancestors from thousands of years ago. So I had this for security, you see? <laughs> and the sheer cliff drop. As soon as you come out. You see? Try to get close. It's very steep. And it just goes on. And on. And on. And on. Till you get to this mysterious stone. To be honest with you guys, I'm definitely coming back here to camp out one night. Tonight's not the night.
But this place is like, outstanding. Like, it's astonishing. How, what possessed? What possessed people to build this? You know, what? What made this place the place that they wanted to spend? What I can only assume to be a few years digging. You know, like a four-chambered, perfectly curved. The back walls are very flat. A little bit of dampness, a little bit of leakage in the side, but other than that, it's very dry. Whew. So, another time we'll camp out. You can come join me. All right. and Bruce met the English, the first group anyway, they met in the field just at the back of me. They were slaughtered. Instantly, the English heard of this happening and they came marching down to meet Wallace's men. The second group, well, the second group of soldiers fell to their death off these rocks behind me. And the third group of Englishmen were trapped into the glen. Slaughtered one by one. See, the Scottish men at the time, they, they, they used the land, the, the knowledge of their land to their advantage. And that's how we were able to knock off 30,000 soldiers with just 8,000. Hardly any casualties on the Scottish side. But that was a, a unique point in time because we didn't keep any prisoners. The Bruce called one by one, unless it was for enough ransom of a person of importance, then everyone who was fighting for the English crown had to die. Can you smell it? Can you smell it? Trapped cliffs, trees of hundreds of years, caves where the Scots would have hid and jumped out. This is Rosalind Glen, guys. This is Rosalind Glen. <laughs> to be built. Roslyn Castle. Here we go guys. This is the wall. The causeway kind of thing. I don't know what you call it but you can see the arch. There's a fortress. You can see all the remainders. And focus. Remainders of the wall. Views over the glen. It's 
castle was demolished because the landowner would not give in he refused to sign a treaty and hand over his rights to the English crown so look at the grandeur of the original building absolutely massive and the architecture has gone into these look at these incredible right what a fortress and you see what I mean when I say this place is all it's full of wee hidden passages As I'm sure you know, Scotland is the land of the Fae and the stories of Roslyn have gone down for hundreds of years, thousands and there's one particular Fae apparently they called her May because it was during this month that she used to come out she apparently me is a very shy fairy. Maybe you can see her. The little wish. Under the ground. So guys, the last thing I want to mention about Rosalyn Glen is the ancient people and the rituals that would have gone on here in this very spot. The circle of a thousand years where the trees are older than any man alive. can breathe the air and feel all the ceremonies that went on here the gorgeous trees I'll show you and who knows what'll happen but me <clears throat> I believe in the ancients I believe in the past let's see if it works if I jump through the portal okay I'm still here it didn't work yet, but our ancient people knew something that we don't know, guys. When you come places like this, you feel the soil, you feel the trees and the birds happy. You can imagine their fires, their rituals their belief in mother nature that's me guys my way to leave Roslyn Glen I thought I'd show you 
this incredible old tree is what I go for beauty gorgeous eh? so yeah that's me done don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed it give me a wee like and if you want anything else more information about Roslyn Glen or locations of anything let me know as I said before I will uh, probably do another shoot here in the cave we'll see what else we can find so done Cheerio!